King Live. Admiral has come under fire today after unveiling its latest car insurance initiative. Under its new service, First Car Quote, the company said it would set the price of young people's premiums based on an analysis of their social media profiles. Admiral claims that those deemed to be safe drivers could save up to 50%. Well, Facebook poured cold water on that suggestion, saying we have clear guidelines that prevent information being obtained from Facebook from being used to make decisions about eligibility. We have made sure anyone using this app is protected by our guidelines and that no Facebook user data is used to assess their eligibility. Facebook accounts will only be used for logon and verification purposes. Well, Admiral has now postponed the scheduled launch of the programme. With me to discuss whether they should proceed with it is Renata Sampson, the chief executive of privacy campaign group Big Brother Watch. So what's wrong with this? Well, I, uh, first of all, they haven't really explained how it's going to work. Uh, it seems, reading between the lines, that they want to access people's Facebook accounts, hoover up an awful lot of their data uh, uh, in terms of how they write things and what they like and what they do, and then use that to build some sort of data set in which they can run an algorithm to determine whether you're a safe driver or not. It all seems very peculiar. But if I'm an insurer and someone tells me they live in one address to reduce their insurance premium and then their Facebook account reveals that they actually live somewhere else, I mean, that's, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, it may be, but I don't think that's what they were getting at. The, their press release seemed to imply that if you use lots of exclamation marks, you're more likely to have a crash. But if you, if you put loads of lists together, then you're more likely a safer driver. This didn't seem to be based on uh, the, the sort of information we'd expect an insurance company to be gathering. They, they seem to be jumping on young people being happy on social media and looking at that as a new, exciting tool. But, I mean, if, uh, if there's psychological profiling that suggests your Facebook profile works in a certain way, then what's, what's the problem with that? Well, profiling, you've just put the nail on the head, really. Uh, in May 2018, the General Data Protection Regulations are going to update data protection law. They're going to be very specific that companies can't use data to profile people. And that's part of what Facebook have been saying. You know, you can't use this information to, to uh, 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 make a guess about how somebody behaves. I think there's lots of problems with profiling, particularly when we are digital by default. Our data really matters to us, and we should absolutely understand why a company wants to use it and that they're not making assumptions about it. Us. You don't think there's some sort of logic coming? I mean, one of the things Admiral said is if, if you use a calendar quite a lot, so then you're likely to be quite conscientious, you're likely to follow timetables and you know, you won't be driving in a hurry to rush to the airport, for example. <laughs> well, uh, I use a calendar a lot and sometimes I'm late. I, I think that it just seems sort of uh, uh, not very organised. I mean, it's not very organised of them. They, they seem to be making assumptions that someone's organised if they use a calendar. We all use a calendar on our phone now. It sounds like um, Facebook are, are actually kicking against this a bit. Uh, uh, I mean, Facebook are often accused of invasions of privacy and doing all sorts of horrendous things. Are they the, the good guys in this story for you? Well, I think it's fascinating. Fascinating and uh, uh, very reassuring that Facebook have come forward and said privacy really matters. To be fair to Facebook, they do make it possible for individuals to have their account private so that it's only shared with people that they want to share it with. And yes, there are going to now be the naysayers saying, well, Facebook are doing this because they want the information. But I think it is reassuring and it's good to know that, you know, privacy is to do with our security. It's not just about secrets. In fact, it's rarely about secrets. So, yeah, well done to Facebook on this account, on this occasion. Bad to Admiral, who really should have thought this through a whole lot more than they did. I guess ultimately you don't have to be on Facebook, do you? No, you don't. That's absolutely right. And you don't have to use Admiral either for your car insurance. <laughs> right. Well, of course, Admiral, uh, Admiral aren't here to defend their case <laughs> on that true. one. We should say that. Renata Sampson, thanks for joining me. Thank you. And that's it from me. Before 